What's up YouTube? My name is Arl the Hot Tamale and I'm here on the Epidemic here to show you guys another scripting tutorial. Remember these videos are not scripted and so I can make mistakes so just bear with me. Now these moving blocks are actually way easier than a lot of you guys think. I was joining a few people's maps and they were asking me how do I make these happen and they were putting timers into them and it was just all wrong. These are very very simple. Now if you remember in my first video of scripting I actually had a scripting object called Power Set that toggles between the power on and off. These blocks, all they have is three scripts in them that toggle between on and off. So when they're on, they move, and when they're off, they move back to their original position. So we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you in depth exactly what I mean by this. So if I press X on this object, go to Object Properties and go to the very bottom, you'll see I have already my three scripts ready to go. Don't worry, I'm gonna go through them one at a time. So script number one, on timer, every six seconds, the action will happen. What is the action? Well, it is the power set. So what is going to happen is every six seconds, it's gonna to toggle between on and off. And I have the channel set to Delta. It should be on Charlie, but for the sake of it not moving, I just have it on Delta at the moment. Script number two is on power state, when it's being turned on, right here, see, state is on, the, move, the action is it's going to move downwards, or. Uh, vertical negatively so downwards and then on the power on the uh, script number three I have the power set set to off so when it's set to off it actually just resets to its original position you don't have to put another move and I don't need it to go positive 34 you can just use the position reset which is super super handy and then I have the time here you can see both at three seconds that way the elevator is moving the same amount up and down in three seconds so it goes down in three seconds and then back up in three seconds now I do have it uh, I do have it repeat every six seconds but what that's going to do is it actually will give me another three seconds of delay so you can actually get on it so what I mean by that is when it's turned on it go it counts down from six before it's going to turn off now this only takes three seconds for it to move so that means you'll have three seconds for it to basically freeze for the Spartan to get on it. So if I set the channel to Charlie so it will actually work, and then when we watch it move downwards, and then once it's at the bottom, basically three seconds pass, and it will start going up. And that's it. That's all this is. It's just an on and off going up and down. Very simple, and that's what's going on over here. Now I actually have another example on this side with a light that just rotates left and right, when it's turned on, it rotates right. When it's turned off, it rotates left. Super simple. Now, what's cool about this one, though, is you can actually have it for flood or something. You can make, like, the lighting all intense and have, like, a whole infection prisoner thing. I don't know. Whatever you want, it's really, really fun. And so just get creative with these ideas, guys. I've definitely seen a lot of crazy stuff, and I hope these tutorials are helping you build better maps. In fact, I'm actually using this tip on uh, one of my newest maps, which you can see right here. I have basically the toggle is going when it's on, it does one color palette, and when it's off, it does a different color palette. And that's how it's making this effect effective like it's switching or whatever. Anyways guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. I completely understand. And I'll see you guys in the next one.